The Bible is God speaking to me. I am what the Word of God says I am. I can do what the Word of God says I can do. I have what the Word of God says I possess. I am a believer, not a doubter. My mind is renewed with the Word. Therefore, I'm thinking those thoughts that please my Father. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So uh, today I'm teaching on blessed mode. Blessed mode, okay? A certain mode that you have to have. And uh, a lot of the, our teenagers, y'all know how to go, okay? In my youth group, we talk about mode. They talk about beast mode and all those different modes. But we're talking about blessed mode, all right? Y'all know what a hashtag is, right? You know what a hashtag yeah. is? Okay, so for the people that don't know what a hashtag is, a hashtag is a word with a hash sign in front of it used by social media to identify messages on a specific topic. All right, so let's say you like food, it would say hashtag food. And you click on that in social media and you will see every message that comes up about food, right? And you'll see that, you say hashtag meals, and you see all the meals that come up. So what I like to do, because I'm uh, very active on social media and a lot of teens and kids are too, what I like to do is after some of my posts, I like to put hashtag blessed or hashtag blessed mode, right? So I did this and one night I was like, you know what, let me see how many people put up the hashtag blessed. How many? And I looked it up and they had insight on it. It was over 110 million people <coughs> put up the hashtag blessed. And I thought that was just awesome. Then uh, it led me to blessed beyond measure. Bless me on measure. And that was one million people put up bless me on measure. And then that led me to bless with the best. And that was 939,000 people, right? Now, a lot of people put up bless and hashtag bless, but how do we be blessed? How do we get to be blessed? You know, I feel like uh, as Christians, we need to let people know the guide and the way to be blessed. Because you'll see it, people up there with their houses and that's beautiful or smiling with their kids or whatever and they'll put blessed but we also have to as Christians to show people how to be blessed. We gotta give them a guide and give them a list because there's certain people that see that hashtag and they might go, man I want to be blessed like that. I want to be blessed like that person. How can I do it? And you know a lot of people, you know when you put up social media and you're on Facebook and Twitter, it's always the happiest moments. <laughs> All right? Everybody put up their happiest moments. You don't stop, you don't put up the grind, you don't put up the sacrifice and things like that that you go through on those posts. Or if you're going through something, you don't put that post up. And we need to. You need to put those posts up just to kind of show how God gets us through. Because there's sacrifices that you have to make to have that blessed life, you know? Um, I like the ones that's posted about being blessed because of their faith in God. There's ones where people actually do put the reason. And they say, blessed mode or Blessed because of my faith. My faith has brought me through. That's why I'm blessed. Because of Jesus, I am blessed. We have to do that. We have to amplify, be vocal. You know, there's a lot of Christians that aren't being vocal. You know, and the devil, what he wants to do is have us be silent and not talk. You know, and social media is one of the tools that we can use to really get out there and let people know. And I know when I put... Hashtag blessed, I talk about my day, and I talk about Jesus and what he's doing in my life. I've had people from Lagos in Africa hit me up and say, oh man, that helped me, that helped me, that was awesome. Or people in the UK just saying, hey man, that was an awesome word. You never know who you're reaching by just you being honest and being open and talking about it. Because outside of the church, you know, at work, you know, I tell my students at school, you know, be vocal about it. Let people know about the Lord. Um, now, as far as being blessed, it's a lot of insight in the Bible about being blessed and the instructions on how to be blessed. A lot of people come up and say, well, Carol, you know, you have a blessed life. You talk about being blessed, but how do you do that? How do you do that? And it's like, you've got to get into the Word because the Word will definitely let you know. It's right there. Turn to Psalms 1. 
chapter 1, verse 3, says, uh, let me know when you have it. <laughs> I'll start reading it. It says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, prospers. Whatever they do, prospers. Now, you look at that verse, and a lot of people say on the verse where the part where it says that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, whether uh, whatever they do prospers. But they don't look at the beginning. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. There's sacrifices that you're going to have to make to be blessed. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's some things you have to change in life once you invite the Lord and invite Jesus Christ into your heart. There's some things you have to do. Now, I'm not saying that you can't minister to sinners and to people that are not happy giving their life to Christ. You know, you do minister to them. But there's things that you know and people that you know that you don't need to be hanging around anymore or around. And you know the things that you get into when you hang around certain people, you know, and uh, listen to certain negativity that they might be saying. And those things you have to sacrifice. You know, you have to do that. And it also says, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord who meditates on his law day and night. Meditate day and night. Now, I pray in the morning. I get up and I command my morning. You know, I pray for my family. I pray for my beautiful wife. I pray for my kids. I pray for uh, my cousins. And I pray for my day. For my day to go right. And wherever I go, that I'm anointed. And that the room is anointed. And that any distractions that come my way, I'll be able to get through. You know, I do that. But then I started going, in the Bible, they we talk about praying day and night. <laughs> you know, day and night. And it's funny because I know, like, sometimes I, I wake up in the morning and feel like everything is hitting you like crazy. Or you had a bad dream or something like that. And you wake up and it's like, oh, man, it feels like the devil's just hitting you. And he's hitting that mind right then and there when you wake up. So you have to pray at night that you have a restful sleep. That when you wake up in the morning, that everything's going to be all right. I've had visions while I sleep because I prayed before I went to sleep. Have the Lord be with you through the nighttime, too, as well. And he'll wake you up feeling awesome in the morning, preparing you for that morning, you know? Uh, I love doing that. And that's all right there because a lot of people, they talk about, you know, I want to be blessed, I want to be blessed. But the Lord lays it out right there in the Word of God. He lays it out. That verse has a ton of instruction. And it breaks it down. Now I turn to Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6. I'm going to use the uh, Amplified version. <clears throat> now it shall be if you diligently listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all of his commandments which I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you pay attention to the voice of the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed in the field. The offspring of your body and the produce of your ground and the offspring of your animals, the offspring of your herd and the young of your flock will be blessed. Your basket and your netting bowl will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in. And you will be blessed when you go out. Now, that sounds like blessed mode to me. <laughs> Hashtag blessed mode. You know, you want to know how to be blessed. It's broken down in the word. You got to be in the word. Like while we're out here right now in Bible study, that's, that's how you get blessed. Because you're hearing the word of God. You're listening to him. being attentive to the Lord. Diligently listening. You know, you can just listen. You know, like I, I retain it. I heard it. But diligently listening is like this. But you lean forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you like, yo, I'm hearing every word, and I'm writing it down, and I want to hear about this later with me speaking it, so then I can hear it over and over again, the Lord's word. That's diligently listening, right? And I want to be blessed, blessed mode. So I, I, I always stay in the word. 
even when it's something that I'm going through, whether it's with my business or it's uh, with my career and my family, and me and my wife, we go to the Lord first. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you call up the lawyers and everybody else that you need help with, with your work, you know, and your management, all those things like that. But first, take it to the Lord first and foremost. Um, Psalm 68, 19, uh, King James Version. Uh, Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits. Benefits, all right? So many benefits. Now, benefit in the dictionary is an advantage or profit gained from something, right? Receive an advantage, profit, gain. If you feel lost or, or you're saying, why me, or any of those things, or how, what should I do, and some, someone wrote a plan, a guide for you, you would love that, you know? Or, or the right thing to do, like uh, DJ Khaled, <laughs> he's, a, he's a rapper and producer. He says, I got the keys. I got the keys. And they got a they got a song called I Got the Keys. And him and Jay-Z are telling other rappers what they need to do. This is what Jesus has done for us. He's given us the keys. He's given us the keys to the kingdom. Right? All we have to do is stay connected, you know, in that divine alignment. It's right there. It's a guide for us. If you want the advantage, he is giving it to us. God has done that. That advantage is called Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> See, when uh, I was younger, uh, I used to love to play uh, video games, <laughs> right? How many of y'all play video games? Any video games? You play video games? Okay, video games in the back? Okay, video games. Okay, so you remember, I don't know, I'm about to age myself right now, but I'm always very young. But, all right, but uh, Nintendo. Nintendo, <laughs> yes, Nintendo. Okay, when Nintendo first came out, I believe it was the like, late 80s, right? Nintendo came out. Okay, so on Nintendo, in the game, they had this controller, right? And it just had a start button, a select button, up, down, left, right. And then uh, it had an A, B button, just two buttons. Now they got like 50 buttons on these things. But back in the day, it was a little square with just two buttons, A and B, right? And then they had something called a cheat code in the video game. Now, this cheat code can give you unlimited pop, right, in any video game that you were in. Okay, so now once upon a time the cheat code, they also called it God Mode, <laughs> which was pretty, pretty cool. So all the gamers that played video games, they got this cheat code, they would call it God Mode. And it was also called Unlimited Power Ups, where they give you power ups. And now this cheat code was a code that you had to get, but I remember once we all got it, it was the big thing because it was like the first cheat code for Nintendo, right? And it's called up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, stop. I saw your face when you saw it. <laughs> okay, you're a real gamer there. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. You're a damn contra. Yes, you remember that. Every Okay, so. 30 minutes. Exactly. So we're all around the same age, right? You remember that. Okay, so up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, stop. No, I'm like, that was hard for me. <laughs> It was like a wave. I think it was like one of the first ones. And everybody knew it. That's why you guys just went, yeah. And all the kids used to do it. And what it would do is it give you like infinite life. You can go to different levels in video games. You get a whole bunch of men in it, right? Yeah, to help fight with you. And so it was super, super awesome. And uh, I can show you a picture of it if you can kind of see it. But that was like the controller right there. And that's the code right there. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. And then you put A, B, start, right? Now, it wasn't social media back then, so this thing got around like word of mouth. You know, if you had that one kid that came and spent a night over your house, and he knew it and you didn't, he would beat you in the game. And you didn't know anything about it. As soon as the game come on, he would go, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, start. And you didn't know. He wouldn't say it out loud. It's like, how is he doing all this amazing stuff? And it's similar when we look at as Christians. Like, of course, you don't want to cheat. You know, cheating is wrong. But it's certain people that are so blessed by God and so blessed in things that they do. It almost seems like they're cheating. 
You know what I mean? It's like they're passing over things that would usually take someone a long time to do. But you know why? Because they have that spiritual knowledge. We have the code. We broke the code. We got the code. We got the access. And that's Jesus. Right? So people start looking at us like, oh my goodness, you guys are just blessed. How are you doing this? Because we got that up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. We got it. That's Christ. He's giving it to us. We can take that same concept as Christians. Imagine you a video game character, right? You've been created, all right? And we are new creatures in Christ. We've been created in his image. So it's very similar. The Holy Spirit is given to us. We speak in tongues, you know? We speak in tongues and the, and the kingdom hears us. It hears us when we speak in tongues. Jesus has done the ultimate sacrifice for us by dying for our sins, right? And rising up again. So we have God mode, blessed mode. <laughs> you know, you know, we can do all things through Christ. Are they making this impossible? Possible. All the impossible things we're making it possible because we have that blessing mode. Now, to activate God mode, just like how you did with the Nintendo controller, right? You have to use faith mode. Okay. So, how we do the up up? That same way in Nintendo. That up up, you gotta get up. You gotta get up every morning. You gotta get up. And you gotta get out there. You can't be scared. Those like, walls that are up in your life, those Jericho walls and things that are in your life, you got to get up and you got to go after it. You can't have no fear. You got to get up, up. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean about when you're on social media or you're posting or you're out and you're in the work field. Talk about Christ. Talk about Jesus. Don't be silent. Up, up. Get up. You know what I mean? Get out there. You know, work on it. Up, up. That's the first part of the code, right? To activate. And in Romans 12, 3, on that faith mode, it says, For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. God has assigned. So you got to have that, that faith. Have that faith. Walk with that faith. That faith gives you power. That's how you get a blessed mode. Up, up. And then what was the next one? It was down, down. Down, down. Yeah, you got, you got me. Okay, so down, down. So I think y'all follow me right now, right? So if you got that faith mode, when you go down, down, that's when you get on your knees and you pray for victory in your family, right? In your life. Commanding your morning, like I said before, when I get up and I do my affirmations in the morning, you get up early, you seek him early. They say that a lot in the Word of God. The new thing that I've been doing, and I'm not telling y'all to do this, but I was getting up at 4 a.m., right? Okay, now I get up at 4 a.m. to go work out, and it was a good time to go work out. People were asleep, and I was getting things done, and then I would go to work afterwards after I eat with the family in the morning for breakfast. So then I started seeing where I, I, got a, I got another job, and wisdom has gotten a little older, you know what I mean? And so she's been getting up, you know, and everything, and I had more work to do because I've been taking on different jobs, and I have to write, and I also have to learn my acting and scripts and things like that, but I wanted to work out in the morning too. So then it came to a point where I had to get up earlier. <laughs> earlier than I was getting up, which four is pretty early. So then it was like, okay, I want to stay in the Word. I want to get in the Word even more. And I found out when I got up before, I was in the Word for like an hour, and then I get to the gym at like five, and then before that, after the shower and eating breakfast, I needed to be in work. So I wanted to get in the Word more and be able to do everything else that I want to do. So now, which is very, <laughs> like, I try, you know, I like a challenge. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, I don't know if y'all know this actor Mark Wahlberg, but Mark Wahlberg gets up at 2.30 a.m. in the morning, right? 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Now, he's also a believer, and he said he did it because, you know, he also has kids. I have two teenagers and a, and a baby girl, uh, one and a half, and uh, he has different jobs. He's an actor as well. And so I said, let me try this. Let me try to get up earlier at 2.30 in the morning, and I will tell you, it has been awesome. <laughs> it's actually been awesome because what it did was was that nobody's up at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> nobody is up. And you can, I mean, I felt like I was in some type of world all by myself, like everybody's sleep. 
I my my phone like around seven six a.m. It's blah, 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 phone calls, meetings, all that stuff like that. But it's just like, you know, that's not happening. And you can really focus. You know what I mean? I can focus on work. I go do my workout, come back up, and I get all my work done. You know, I can take care of all the emails. I can take care of script writing, all those things like that. And before you know, when the family wakes up and everything, I'm done. Almost like four hours of work. Off. You know what I mean? I'm already done. Now with that. You gotta take yourself to bed. <laughs> you know you don't have to go to bed. Cause you know, we like to watch certain shows, DVR and stuff and stuff like that, but it was like, okay, I gotta go to bed at least around eight. You know, eight thirty, nine o'clock, and I put wisdom to bed at eight. So after that, me and Asia spend time together and then we're at bed at nine. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's what works. It's what works, you know, we gotta do that. And we're all about schedules and things like that. So I'm all about saying get up early. You know, get up early and seek him. You don't have to do 2.30, that's very drastic. <laughs> but, but it works for me, it works for me. So getting up early in the morning and praising him and getting your, your day started. Because now one thing I know, because I mean, you know, this is spiritual, is that uh, in the spiritual realm, there's things that you have to break that's in the spiritual realm. And you gotta know that the enemy is busy as well. So the enemy gets up early just to, you know what I mean? So you gotta get up early and you gotta fight. It's a spiritual warfare. Now that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about in video game mode, in the blessed mode. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? For me, it's like I gotta get up early and fight this thing. You know what I mean? Really start praying and doing the verses for the things that I want. Pastor talks about putting the verse with what you want. Start doing that, praying about it, saying your affirmations, get that done. You know? It's like a it's like a, you can't you can't do it halfway. It's like a diet. You know what I mean? You have to make it part of your lifestyle. Your diet is not gonna work, it's not part of your lifestyle. If you're just doing a diet for like 15 days. And then once you see that state, and as you had to eat 15 days, you're like, oh, goodness, you can go straight for it, right? But if you make it part of your lifestyle to eat in a certain way, then it's part of you. That's how you have to do it with Christ. Christ has to be in your lifestyle, not just at church, not just at Bible study, and everything that you do, everything. You do. So you have to pray. You got to seek him early, seek him at night. Then you got to use that praise mode, all right? Now, where are we at? We were up, up, down, down, where are we at? Left, left right, right, left, right. right. Okay, so that left, right, is worship on the left, praise on the right. Okay, so you're going like this. That's, that's putting your hands out, all right? You put your hands out your feet, left and right. You put it out, you're worshiping him. That's when you're opening up. You got your heart exposed like the caravans. Remember the caravans? <laughs> you know what I mean? You got your heart exposed. You open it up. Come into my heart. You know what I mean? You have to do that left, right, and worship and praise around your house. Praise and worship is so, so important. You got to do it. Praise and worship around your house, around your kids. Let them see it. You know, with our youth and the youth ministry, we want them to see us as adults worshiping God. We want them to see us speaking in tongues so that they can see it. They see so much other stuff with this, the music and the, the gangsters and all these other things like that. We need to show them how to praise, how to worship. We need to show them that. So, and then what you got after that? What you got? So next time. The A B. Oh yeah, A B A B. Yes, A B A B select start, right? So you want to select the A B to start. To start that blessed moment. Okay. So what's A B? And I have fun with this because I'm a gamer, so I have fun with this. So I went, okay, A B, A B, what could that be? After I've done it, after I've done faith mode, I've done pray mode, okay? I worship on the left, praise on the right. What do I do? Then you hit A B. The A is almighty. Okay? And the B is breakthrough. Breakthrough. When you do all of that, you get that almighty breakthrough. So let's start this activating. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's activating. That's how you have the hashtag bless mode. Activated. Activated. In a game I used to play called uh, Street Fighter. Okay? <laughs> you remember Street Fighter? Okay, you know Street Fighter. Okay, Street Fighter. They had a character in there named Raheem. Right? And Ryu, you would hold the B button down and point to where you want it to go. And when you did that, he's fighting the other person, right? And now when you do that, he had a special move 
that he would do, and he would create this fireball. And in this fireball, he would go to his opponent that's coming at him, the enemy, he would go, Hayduken, right? <laughs> so when he said, Hayduken, and throw this fireball, the person was pushed all the way back from his presence, from him, out of his area. Because he had this huge, huge fireball, right? Okay, so we're talking about Bless mode, hashtag bless mode, how to be blessed, right? And we're using video games in that way and how you do it because this is a fight. This is a fight, so you gotta learn the code, the cheat code, the God mode, the God code, to how to do it. That's, not, that's Christ, right? So when he said Harukin and he pushed him back, right, with that fire, we're Christians though, all right? So this is a spiritual fight. When we talked about getting up in the morning, it's a spiritual fight, okay? So you use that. Holy Spirit fire. And the Holy Spirit fire that takes over you. Takes all over your body. They can't touch you. The enemy can't touch you. So what you say when the enemy try to come near you, instead of Haruki, you say, rebuke it. <laughs> <laughs> rebuke it. Y'all say it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. See, 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 see. See, 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 see. What do we talk about, right? What are we talking about? Y'all know Street Fighter, right? If you play the game Street Fighter, right? It's a, it's a fight to the finish. Like, they come out there, and you know video games, they already ready. You know what I'm saying? They already ready. And these enemies, it's a character in there called uh, Blocker. And this dude, I mean, it's a demonic looking thing, and he all green, and you know, he got this crazy hair. But it's enemies that we feel like that. You know what I mean? It's enemies in our life and things that keep coming up in our life that we feel like I need extra prayer to like just, I don't want this happening anymore in my life, right? And that's why I get up early in the morning. That's what I was talking about that, praying, praying without ceasing, you know? And staying in the word of God and speaking and having blessing over it. It's a blessing to be a blessing. So if you're in blessed mode, you continue to be blessed all the time by being a blessing. So everything that the word says about blessed, that's why I started looking it up. I said, if I want to be blessed, I'm going to look it all up. So when you see that enemy, when Rahim saw that dude coming for him with these arms that's longer than him, right? And he's about to hit him, right? He said, how do you get? Push him back with that fire. You got the Holy Spirit fire inside of you. So you got to push it back. Get it off of you. You can't touch it because the fire is all over you. So you see the enemy, and that's what I meant about not keeping your mouth shut. You see what I'm saying? Because the devil want to keep your mouth shut. You got to speak it out. We are ambassadors of Christ. We got to join together and start talking with one another and helping uplift one another and start speaking it out loud like we're fighters. We're fighters. You know what I mean? Speak it out loud. So when that enemy comes, you got to go rebuke it. Go on. Say it. Rebuke it. Push the enemy back. He can't, he can't touch you because Jesus is in your heart. Jesus is inside of you. Okay? He can't touch you. We're warriors. We're all warriors. No matter the age, color, no matter what, we're all warriors. We're all part of the kingdom. Same family, right? So, us being spiritual fighters, fight. call out what's wrong and destroy it. And when you do that and you rebuke it, you have to do it in Jesus' name. You have to do it in Jesus' name. Okay? Jesus' name, that destroys it all. You know what I mean? That is the code. That is the code. That's the bless mode. That's the cheat code. You know? You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hey, amen. <laughs> then you tap it to, after you do that, you start tapping it to beyond measure. <clears throat> Blessed beyond measure. All right, now, beyond measure, beyond measure. That phrase, if you say that something has changed or that it has affected you, Beyond measure, you are emphasizing that it has done this to a great extent, a great extent, beyond measure. Okay. Now turn to Ephesians three twenty, and I'm gonna read from the Amplified version. <clears throat> Amen. You think you were talking about Street Fighter? Bible study. Amen. <laughs> All right, Ephesians 3.20 says, uh, Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do 
super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think. Infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. Okay, they're talking about infinity. All right? They're talking about super abundantly. All right? That is some Buzz Lightyear stuff right there. Okay? Toy Story. Toy Story 4, like he would say, to infinity and beyond. Right? Everything you touch, everything around you, blessed. Everything blessed. Blessed life. Blessed mode. So if you blessed and you got blessed mode and you got that turned on, you're not going to talk different. Right. Don't talk negative about it. Because that's how you destroy your mode. Like when I said when the kid come over and they had that Nintendo code, you know, the up, down, up, down, left, right, you know, start, so they start. If they had that and they told me that they had it, then this ain't going to work. Because I'm like, no, man, start the game over. Start it over so I can do it too. That's not fair, right? But you don't do that. You don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that because you have the code. You got the code. You know what I'm saying? You got it. It's society. It's society. You know what I mean? And the enemy can't do anything. Two, you're the light, the light of the world. And once you're the light of the world, and you got Jesus inside of you, the darkness can't take out the light. Right. It can't. All right? So you you walking. It's infinity. Infinity and beyond. All blessings. That's awesome. Right? Limitless. Limitless. Now, it's this movie called Limitless. Have y'all ever seen that movie? Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome movie. If you've never seen the movie, I'll, I'll explain it. So, it's this guy, he took a pill and became amazingly smart. All right, now the film follows a guy named Edward Mora. I think I'm saying the name right. And a, he's a struggling writer who is introduced to a nootropic drug called NZT48, which gives him the ability to fully utilize his brain, right, and vastly improve <laughs> his lifestyle because he wanted his life to change. That's what he wanted. So he said, well, let me just get a pill, right? So he took this pill. Now, what this pill did, it just made him have, I mean, the amazing, he was, he was so smart and so limitless, like he would know what somebody was about to say before they said it when he took it. And he would know where to walk and where he would go get uh, uh, certain jobs and certain things given to him at the drop of a dime because he knew he got the knowledge already. Right? But see, these drugs weren't safe, and it was illegal, and it almost got him killed in the movie. And it was a fantasy. This was a fantasy. It's a fantasy film. <laughs> a fantasy world, living with no limits, but all-knowing. They also call the pill all-knowing. Right? An all-knowing pill. But when we give our lives to Christ, we have him living inside of us. And God is also called what? All-knowing. All-knowing. God is all-knowing. So the all-knowing God tap into <coughs> God mode. Boom. That's it. It's Christ. It's Jesus. If you want it, you got to tap into God. You got to tap into Him every day. You got to go to Christ. Every time with anything that you're dealing with in your life, go to Christ. Tap into that. And that's how you get that blessed moment. See, to everyone else, it's like, like I said, we got a cheat code. You know, we just grab the blessings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Grabbing blessings, right? You know, uh, I'll talk to the youth about, uh, people always talk about uh, get to the bag. <laughs> right? Now get to, he's like, what that mean? I'll show you kids though. Get to the bag means, you know, when you got money bags. That's what that's about. You get, them, you get to the money. You get to the bags, you get these blessings. That's what we're talking about, right? And I'm talking about bag of blessings. Bag of blessings. So I put blessings into that bag. Blessings, blessings. Jesus blessed because if you get the blessings, then all those other things are going to come to you. Jesus is the blessing. So everything that you want is going to come to you once you have Jesus in your life. And you got to say what he says because you can have all things through him. You can do all things through him. But you got to believe it. You got to believe it. That's the blessed mode. Okay, now, what does bless me on measure look like with God? Bless me on measure. What does that look like? Okay, I'm going to show you. Turn to Psalms 139. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to read the Amplified because I, like I like how it says. It says, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. 
You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me to, too, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven and you are there, if I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the Father's oceans, even there, okay, even there, your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I can ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Oh God, if you only you would destroy the wicked. Get out of my life, you murderers. They blaspheme you. Your enemies misuse your name. Oh Lord, you shouldn't, I shouldn't, you shouldn't hate those who hate you. Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? Yes, I hate them with total hatred. For your enemies are my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point at anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Psalms 139, 1 through 24. Everlasting life. Now, in there was a whole bunch of blessed, mode, breakthrough codes. <laughs> in there. He knows everything about you. Now, I'm about to say a minister of the word. <laughs> Omnipotent. <laughs> you know that's how she would do this. Omnipotent, God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Omnipotent God. Okay. That's how you are blessed beyond measure. Amen. I remember she said that word. I had to go look it up. I love it. Omnipotent God. God is omnipotent God. Now look up omnipotent. Okay? What does that mean? Look it up in the dictionary. I'll, I'll do it for you. It means having unlimited power. Right? Able to do anything. Unlimited power, able to do anything. And that goes back to the Nintendo cheat code, right? That goes back to bless mode. Us as Christians, you know, once we have Christ, He is He's the one. He's the one that gives us that blessed mode. We got it. We got the code. So that means we are all knowing at that point. Because the Lord is with us. We don't have to take some pill, you know what I mean, to get there. We can go there and be blessed. It's so many times, man, when I was like, Instead of like when I go to work and I'm just thinking about work and I'm, I'm thankful for the job, but then I also go in there thinking, who can I bless today when I walk into this church? Who can I talk to? Who can I pray for? Because I'm here for a reason. Yes. Everyone that you come into contact with on every day, you meet them for a reason. Okay? Meet them for a reason. So when you walk into that room, like I said, anoint that room. With the light, so they see it inside you. They see the light in you, okay? And they're watching your actions. Amen. What are they gonna do? How are they gonna react? They keep talking about this Lord thing. You know what I mean? They putting all over their social media hashtag bless, hashtag bless mode. Let me see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Then you live your life like that. It's okay. Live your life like that. Cause I, the other day, I remember I was working. I had just this. Smile on my face, it was really early, just smiling, talking to everybody, hey, how you doing, hey. And, you know, some people might say that's Christianese when you answer back in a churchy way. Like when people say, yeah. they come up to me and they be like, how you doing, Karen? I was like, blessed. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am. I, I, and if you feel it and it's in your heart, you say, I'm blessed. Right. You know what I mean? And what that does, though, because 
you know, people try to tell you not to do that because you know, oh, you're trying to throw that church on me, staying blessed. But what's cool about it, though, when you do that, when I hear another Christian say that to me, like I, you know, go to a hotel or something like that, and the person in the front, and they're really, really nice, and then they say, have a blessed day after they give me my card or something like that, I'm like, oh, you a believer. Okay, you think. You know what I'm saying? You believe that? It's like, okay, okay, you got the code too. We got it together. You see what I'm saying? We're family, part of the family. When you know that, now it's like the Avengers. You know what I mean? You all connected. So many superheroes. You're connected together. That's awesome. We're superheroes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus side of us. Everybody talking about all these movies. You talking about all these Avengers and all these superheroes. But we need to tell talking tell the kids about Jesus. Because he's the only one to die that rose again. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. It can be inside of your heart and give you the same superpowers. The same superpowers. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we have to have that blessed mode. Everybody say blessed mode. Blessed mode. <laughs> so you want that true blessed mode, you got to keep God close. Put him all in all your dealings. All your dealings. Like I said earlier. And you got to have a godly lifestyle. Okay, so the world has formulated an erroneous and limited concept of, of God. And we are called to demonstrate his greatness through our lifestyle. God has called us to be his showcase on earth. Everything about us should reflect the glories of the kingdom. All quality of life, all should demonstrate the limitless glories of the kingdom of God. Limitless glory. So that means put him in everything you do. You got to keep God with you. Remember, uh, it was a commercial <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, call my buddy. Right? <laughs> you remember my buddy? Okay, you remember that one. My buddy. Now, my buddy was, you know, he would dress like you. And it was like a dog that little boys would hang out with. And he would dress like you. He was cool like you. He was your best friend, right? And it was my buddy. And what I remember about it, though, was the song. <laughs> it said, my buddy, my buddy, wherever he goes, I go, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. See what I'm saying? My buddy and me. My buddy. Buddy. Now, when you look up the definition, Buddy, right? The definition of buddy, and I want y'all to, to remember this, write it down. The, def the definition of buddy is a close friend, okay? A working companion with whom close cooperation is required. Close cooperation is required, okay? Become friendly and spend time, friendly, and spend time with someone. I decided to buddy up to them. I decided to buddy up to them. Buddy up to God. Buddy up. That's your buddy. God is your buddy. You can tell him everything. You know, you, you can't tell everybody everything that you can tell God. God's not going to judge you. He's not going to look at you and say, How did, why did you do that? Why did you do that? No, he's going to love you anyway. He's your buddy because wherever you go, he goes. It's the same thing. My buddy. My buddy in me. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. He's right there. He's here right now. He's in this room. You know? There's some things that you know about nobody else knows about. But you know who knows about? Jesus. You know? And if it's something that was wrong at that day, he's already forgiven. Already. That's your buddy. Your buddy. You got a buddy up with God. So, um, say this prayer with me. I want y'all to say this. Okay, so, uh, and I'm going to close with this because I want y'all to stand up. Stand up and, and say this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I want y'all to say this too. Uh, if you should give the video, try to remember it and, and say it in the morning. But I want you to do this. Say, I arise today. I arise today in your strength. In your strength. And declare, and declare that I am called, that I am called to be a world, to be a world class, class leader. Leader within my sphere, within my sphere of influence, of influence, I bear your light. I bear your light in a world of darkness. In a world of darkness, I will not let circumstances, I will not let circumstances distract me, distract me from fulfilling, from fulfilling my purpose, my purpose in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Y'all be seated. Everybody say hashtag bless mode. Hashtag bless mode.
Hashtag bless mode. Hashtag bless mode now. Uh, it looks like everybody here is family. Salvation is the free gift that the Lord offers anyone who would believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10 that with our hearts we believe unto righteousness, and with our mouth confession is made unto salvation. I trust that you will believe God's word, that your faith will be in the risen Savior who came to give his life for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Will you pray with me this prayer of salvation? It's not difficult. It's very easy but you must mean it from your heart. So repeat these words after me. Jesus, I confess you as my Savior and my Lord. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. With my mouth, I confess you and I receive you as my Savior. Jesus, thank you for making my heart your home. Thank you for living in me. God the Father is now my Father and the Holy Spirit has done a work in me. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus, my Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, and thank you for guiding my life. In Jesus' name, amen. We're here to be a blessing to you at Spirit Food Christian Center. The way this broadcast is brought to you is by people's faithful sowing and reaping as a result of God's word being given unto them. So I want to encourage you, be a part of this ministry of sowing and reaping. The Bible says, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. In this ministry, we believe that man must hear the word of God. For man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. The Bible declares, God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always have all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. God loves a cheerful and hilarious giver. I encourage you, be a part of this ministry. Be hilarious in your giving and watch the Lord bring it back to you in many, many ways. In Jesus' name. You have been watching the Spirit Food Christian Center worldwide webcast online at www.myspiritfood.com. Join us for worship service each Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And be sure to check out our website for our weekly live broadcast and much, much more. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.